experimental study of photoelectric effect. The experimental setup for the study of photoelectric effect consists of an evacuated glass quartz tube containing a photosensitive plate C emitter and another metal plate A collector. Monochromatic light of sufficiently short wavelength from the source S is allowed to pass through the window W. A transparent quartz window is sealed onto the glass tube which allows ultraviolet radiation to pass through it and irradiate the photosensitive plate C. The electrons are emitted by the plate C and are collected by the plate A. The battery maintains the potential difference between the plates C and A that can be varied. The polarity of the plates C and A can be reversed by a commutator. The potential difference between the emitter plate and collector plate is measured by a voltmeter V and the current flowing in the circuit is measured by a microammeter mu A. Effect of intensity of light on photocurrent The collector plate A is kept at a positive potential with respect to emitter C. Keeping the frequency of the incident radiation and the accelerating potential fixed, the intensity of light is varied and the resulting photoelectric current is measured each time. For a given photosensitive material, the photoelectric current is directly proportional to the intensity of the incident radiation provided the frequency is greater than the threshold frequency. The energy of emitted photoelectrons is independent of the intensity of incident light. Effect of potential on photoelectric current It is found that the photoelectric current increases with increase in accelerating positive potential. When all the emitted electrons are collected by the plate A, the photoelectric current becomes maximum. It does not with further increase in the accelerating potential of plate A. This maximum value of the photoelectric current is called saturation current. We now reverse polarities of the plate A and the plate C using commutator and increase retarding potential gradually. The photocurrent is found to decrease rapidly until it drops to zero at a certain sharply defined critical value of the negative potential V0 on the plate A. The negative potential of the plate A at which the photoelectric current becomes zero is called stopping potential or cutoff potential. Stopping potential is that value of retarding potential difference between two plates which is just sufficient to halt the most energetic photoelectrons emitted. It is denoted by V0. We note that the saturation currents are proportional to the intensity of incident radiation. But for a given frequency of the incident radiation, the stopping potential is independent of its intensity. Effect of frequency of incident radiation on stopping potential. We now study the relation between the frequency nu of the incident radiation and the stopping potential V0 keeping the intensity of the radiation constant. We get different values of stopping potential for different frequencies, but the value of the saturation current 
comes out to be same for all the frequencies. Higher the frequencies of incident radiation, higher are the stopping potentials. This implies that greater the frequency of incident light, greater is the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectrons. The stopping potential V0 varies linearly with the frequency of incident radiation for a given photosensitive material. There exists a certain minimum cutoff frequency, nu naught, for which the stopping potential is zero. For a frequency nu of incident radiation lower than the cutoff frequency nu naught, no photoelectric emission is possible even if the intensity is large. Laws of photoelectric emission Photoelectric effect is an instantaneous process. Photoelectric current is directly proportional to the intensity of incident light and is independent of frequency. The stopping potential and hence the maximum velocity of the electrons depends upon the frequency of incident light and is independent of its intensity. The emission of electrons stops below a certain minimum frequency known as threshold frequency.